On that first step chart as a starter, what does that mean to you? <laughs> Honestly, man, everything. Uh, you know, I've waited, you know, since well, my junior year of high school, uh, you know, to be the, to be that guy. And, you know, fortunate to have a good camp and, uh, you know, along with the rest of the guys and just, you know, definitely came out on top. And I'm excited, man. I'm really excited. Can you describe the hard work that went into that? <sighs> really, no. Because, um, you know, it, it goes all the way back in the summer with Smitty, I'm sure as y'all know. Um, had a great summer with Smitty and, you know, just having the, the team around me, you know, to lift me up when I'm down, uh, you know, vice versa with me to them and and just the grind. It's the grind of camp, the grind of summer and just attacking everything. Coach Venables was talking about how you wanted to prove that you're more than just a nine route no uh, doubt. type receiver. What goes into, you know, making sure you can be a well-rounded guy? Learning how to play the position. You know, ever since I came out of high school, that was my goal. You know, I came out. High school as an athlete, uh, you know, and I went to Texas my freshman year as a wide out, and then here as a wide out, and so learning the position is a big part of that. And I think over the last, you know, three years, I've done a great job of it. Getting healthy has been a real plus for you too, has it? No doubt, no doubt. Would um, the the part about becoming as an athlete and then and, and fitting in as a wide receiver? How difficult was that? Was that a transition for you? No doubt, yeah, it definitely took you know took a few years to really learn the position. You know, being playing wide out at, at this level is not something easy, uh, especially when you're not tight at it. You know, in high school, you got to really learn when you get to college and. I think I've done a great job of doing that. What are some of the overall part? talent in that room when you see like Jalil and Andrew fighting back from injury? You know, the whole talent in the room is deep, you know, as I'm sure you all know. Uh, but it just makes me better. It makes me a better uh, receiver. Learning, being able to learn from each other is huge. Um, you know, learning from guys in the past like Drake and Eric, that's huge. You know, just learning off of one each other and getting better each day. What does the position athlete mean at Spearman? What, you, what were you doing there? Uh, high school, you know, shout out to Coach Whitten. I was doing safety i was doing corner i was doing quarterback i was doing running back and i was doing a little bit of receiver but i mainly played quarterback so that's kind of where where i was at in high school we saw you and jackson have a pretty good chemistry in the alamo bowl how has that just developed and gotten better the last year just reps you know what i'm saying reps over time uh practice you know that things you know that kind of thing comes in practice but not only on the field but off the field you know we get together off the field build our relationship and you know continue to grow stronger Brian, we saw uh, flashes of your ability last year. What are your expectations for yourself this year and how big of a leap do you think you can take? Uh, I think they're the highest. I think I got the highest expectations, you know, even over Coach V. I think my expectations of myself are higher than what he has of me. Um, you know, I'm tr trying to go win for this team. You know, I'm trying to put this team first. I'm trying to do everything in my ability to, to win for this team. Coach Jones now, how has he kind of pushed you to kind of get that all around development? Was Man, Coach Jones has been, been great to me. Ever since I got here, he's been amazing to not only me, but the rest of the guys. You know, he's he's Really, I can thank him a lot. I can't thank him enough. You know, he's been he's been great to me. How well did you know Coach Jones before OU going back to the recruiting process? Um, I knew him a little bit. Um, I knew him at Kansas, of course, and a little bit at Tech. And so he him and I had a con uh, or a connection, you know. Uh, but no, it wasn't super crazy. Um, but I did know of him, and so whenever that process, you know, coming here started, you know, it was it was nice. You talk about developing as a wide receiver. What was the toughest part of that, or the thing that took the longest to get down? I would definitely say just learning the route tree. Uh, you know, you go to a, a place like Spearman, and I'm not sure if y'all know really what, what that is or what that entails, <laughs> but, man, it's not a very big school. You know, it's not a school where you got collegiate athletes coaching. It's not a school where you got uh, guys that really know football too well. And so coming from a place like that, you got to learn everything. You got to learn coverages, which helped because I did play uh, defense in high school, so that helped. But, man, you got to learn everything. Talk to bottom. You came in the summer last year. Just how much more comfortable do you feel this time around and when you're still brand new. Yeah, I mean, I had a, I had a great summer baby. this year. I think that's where it all started for me. Uh, you know, and my goals was attack that summer. You know, I, I finally felt healthy in, in, you know, the position my body was in. And so just getting with Smitty and attacking that every single day, I think really upgraded my game. Well, Coach, you were just to run by guys all the time. How much was it a mental deal to realize <laughs> to be a really good receiver, you had to run the other aspect? Were you, were you, did you take the coaching or did you have to kind of like, Get used to that, I guess, when you're being run by guys. Um, I would say it's a, it's a little bit of both. I definitely had to take the coaching. Um, that's definitely something that, that comes with it. And I, I want the coaching. You know, I told Coach Jones, like, on me every day. Stay on me every day. But, you know, part of running by guys is also being able to, to get separation, you know, underneath. And guys can't play two yards all the time. So, you know, it, it's just creates more opportunities for me and the other guys on the field with me. What's Coach, I like seeing Andrew kind of work his way back from oh, Man, <laughs> man, I... <laughs> Seeing Andrew come back from where he was at last year when he got hurt, unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm so excited for that guy. I'm so pumped for him to, to make it back, and he'll be even better than he was before by the end of this. So, How does your speed help you on the other routes, the out routes and things like that? Guys got to 
you know, they got to respect the speed. Um, if they don't respect the, the speed, then that's six. So I feel like that really that really helps me. You've mentioned it a couple times, made reference to it a couple times, getting with Schmitty and, and getting the work in. Uh, I think Coach Vendel's talked about it a little bit today at the press conference about you were slight, a frame, he said, mm -hmm. and you bulked up, strengthened up, whatever. No doubt. Is there a buy-in that goes into that? Is there like a, like a kid sometimes has to be convinced, hey, I'm going to bulk you up, you're going to be faster, you're going to be more explosive. Is that tough to take when you're, when you're a speed guy like you are? Not really, because I think it's something that I, I wanted as well for myself. But, um, you know, I think this all goes back to Smith can only do so much. Yeah. You know, you, this, it's more than just going out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday and putting up work in with Smitty. And, okay, now I got to go home and I got to eat. Now I got to go home and I got to refill my body and be ready to go the next day. And, you know, it's not about one week and one day. It's about, you know, months and months and months of preparation and being able to get your get my weight up, get my body right, get stronger, get healthier. That's what happened. A lot of guys talk about how tiresome it is to eat all the time. Did you have to go through that too? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ever since my freshman year of college, I feel like it, man, I've been on protein shakes and, and this, this, and that. But, man, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to come thump some stuff now. I'm going to come thump some stuff. Y'all going to see Friday. You, you, you feel faster too with all that? I'm moving. Okay. I'm moving. <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> what does it take for a, a smaller receiver to play big? You got to play smart. You got to know how to, how to play the game. And you also got to be able to play bigger than you are. Um, I know most guys that play that are small, they usually play bigger than they what they are. And so being able to, to go out there and deliver hits and be able to play bigger than 170, that, that's huge for me. Um, you know, so I took that weight room seriously, uh, blocking on the perimeter, being able to get off hands, being able to do that kind of stuff, man, that all goes back to Smitty and, and what we did in the summer.